Hello Capricorn. This is your November 2018 reading. I have thoroughly shuffled and cut the deck, but we will do it some more just to be extra thoroughly thorough Capricorn. <laughs> so a few things were coming in. The word rich. Just rich, like the richness of things. I had a feeling, a texture, like rich foods, like some cheesy onion rings. I don't know, something really, you know, satiating. And I've been allowing myself some of these foods. <laughs> And a little bit of luxury um, fans to create movement of air. So I like the feeling of that. Um, fountains to create movement of water. Because we like the feeling of that. Um, So rich, richness, richness of flavor, richness of movement, richness in your being. Finding the value in something, um, a, a different aspect, so maybe the body for those of you who are a little bit older, maybe when you were younger, the body was something else. Now the body has morphed into something of, um, like when you're younger, it's looks, okay? And then when you get older, it's longevity. So it's just, it's, there's growth in just every little fine, little minute, seemingly minute detail so there's this richness that's being woven okay um <clears throat> I was doing some visualization and I was tuning into visuals that would go along with what I was feeling and I got you like going down like a gauntlet but um, all that was alongside of you were just memories, not, there weren't people, uh, it was just like a screen. And you were going through it like an observer, but observing it actually through as if it was somebody else experience seeing your experience okay through your eyes to gain empathy for what you've okay so it was, it was like seeing it through god's eyes and this word came to me and it's very interesting because it's like I'll put, I'll put it in the description box below. Oh, and if you would like to make a donation or book a personalized reading, um, that will be, that information is below as well. We just got right into it, Capricorn, because there's some richness we need to talk about. So this word, and I do gematria and stuff, so this word... Ele inau. Um, okay, I'm, I'm not going to say it right. Uh, el, Eleinai. Ele so, okay, I'll put it in the description box. It'll be spelled correctly, okay. Um, uh, see the sun card. 
the richness that the sun brings, right? Everything awakens and becomes alive and all the grass leans towards the rays of the sun, okay? Everything reaches towards the sun. The sun reaches far down to, and we reach back up to God. And that's Leo, the heart of the lion. So this word means, and I just broke it down by syllables, what, okay. And it means, um, basically like the eyes of God. And what I was getting was your eyes being like the eyes of God, okay. So my eyes are God's eyes. So it was like you were observing your life, but through God's eyes. So there was a great amount of empathy, understanding um, that I am presence because God can become you and experience everything, that the, the joys and pains of your existence, okay? Your individuated, individuated existence. Sun card. Because of that light that we share. So, and the eye receives the light. Okay. And then it can also project light because it can receive light. So, the, but we won't go that route right now. So, Capricorn. Some of you need to be told this. It was told to me yesterday, I believe it was yesterday, yeah, when I did uh, Scorpio and Sagittarius, but I wasn't feeling that it was a message for them, but I feel like it's for you. And I had my sunglasses and my hat on. So speaking of the sun card, okay. <laughs> um, because with my condition I'm dealing with currently there's photosensitivity okay so I always wear a giant wide brimmed hat and sunglasses and um you know having the the rash on your face etc okay so you're not feeling too cute whatever and there was this woman in front of me and just from the back of her the shape of her from her age the way she was dressed she reminded me so much of my son's mother and her name is very similar to this, um, I don't know, it had to do with the mother, this dream that gave me this, <sighs> okay, wow, because the son, okay, I gotta go deep into it, this dream, maybe I'll put the link to that dream in, in your video. Okay, so in the description box of this video, for you specifically Capricorn. It was Archangel Raphael, dressed like the style of someone, the only person I know named Raph, Rafe, Rafa, Rafa, okay, his name is Raphael. And I could just see him from the back, I could tell, I was like, that's his shape, that's his style of dress, and he was in all black, okay, the, the, I'll put that below so you can just... But the thing was, it was when Jesus, okay, Raphael told me happy birthday, and, okay. But when I looked up close to his teeth, okay, now I just looked this up yesterday or maybe today, and because the word incisors came to mind, and those are the four teeth, okay, top and bottom, front teeth. And it matched up to a dream that I saw up close of my mother's teeth with the same, like, reddish orange, as if they had plaque on their teeth, but it was this reddish orange, ambery kind of a color, okay? And so, after Jesus, Raphael, okay, said the happy birthday, we had the little convo. I did the up close, okay, of his mouth, and he 
showed me his teeth. Okay, so it's the connection to the mother had the same stuff on it. Okay, looked like it had he had amber in his teeth, like plaque but amber colored. Okay, it was just to show me. The, okay, so when I looked up eighty nine, because those are the numbers of the two front teeth, nine and eight. Okay, and um, this word Ellen. Well, okay. Which means, okay, my eyes like God's eyes. And this common L, comment Ellen then keeps going. So, Ellie, Ellen, okay, Ellen Rose actually is her name. Um, baby daddy's mom. So, I see this woman in front of me while we're, I'm getting my son's and fries and stuff and um, burger fry. We got, I got onion rings and yeah, so those, <laughs> this richness, okay, ranch dressing. Really good onion rings um, at those, you know, diner, di not a chain, okay? Good onion rings. <laughs> and so I have my sunglasses and hat on, and this woman is the only one right in front of me, okay? So as soon as she turns around, I'm like, oh, wow, she really reminds me of her, her nose, okay, her demeanor, her softness. Um... Oh, and she's a Capricorn born New Year's Eve. So <clears throat> she said, because my son was really excited because he knows that place. We've been there a couple times, so he knows, oh, he's going to get something good, right? So he's screeching and stuff. And I'm just like, okay, kind of trying to, you know, because there's a couple other people there and just the staff, whatever. I don't want people going crazy. Okay. <laughs> um, and she smiles and says oh hi to him and then looks at me and says and this is to you too Capricorn for those of you who need to hear this she said you're beautiful I feel like I want to cry right now because I she was saying she, she was speaking so softly so sweetly like I had to lean in, like I, I like I knew what she said, and I heard her, but I was like, she couldn't possibly be saying I'm beautiful. She's probably saying, you know, my child or whatever, you know, because I, how could you even tell? I have my sunglass, big giant sunglasses, big giant broad brimmed hat, like Alicia Keys hat, you know, okay, and the sun, <laughs> and it was just exactly the thing. Because us Capricorns, we're ancient, so we we go through the ringer. Um, like Jesus, the Son of God. By Capricorn. Because... <sighs> to activate the power in others... To be able to get through it by showing them that you can do it. And that's why you're so beautiful, Capricorn. I just had to itch my back for a sec, okay. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Whew, so we got that out. I hope that made sense. Um And we have the Fool and Five of Swords. Here's the Sun card. Hey, you, you gave it the old college try. You know, that's the best you can do. Even if it blows up in your face, you are still you. Fool card. Okay. I feel so ashamed. Like, oh God, how could I be so stupid? How could I have done it again? How could I? I. I know better. So this is why we have to live in the light of truth. See things through God's eyes including yourself 
and your journey. All your memories, everyone you've ever been. And some of you are twin flames. Two of wands, six of wands. But this is that victory, that path. Broadway was also another word that was coming up in Gamatra, which is a street right near me. And right, right, the juxtaposition, we're doing the narrow way over here, and Broadway's right in my midst. That's the victory, that Six of Wands right here. This victory. has to do with your purpose here on this earth, your mission, your path. <sighs> That's where you find all your nutrients <laughs> along the path. And it gives you the strength to reach the finish line and claim that victory. Whatever it is, maybe your mission is to be a drug addict and then get sober and you activate that divine template for another by allowing it to be activated within you. Value yourself. Look at yourself when you feel your ugliest and tell yourself. Look at yourself through God's eyes and have compassion for yourself and tell yourself how much you love yourself and how beautiful you are because your beauty isn't about the things that you see in the light. It's about the things that you know in the dark. Ooh, Capricorn, we're going deep. I was saying it could be some twin flames because there's two of cups on the bottom. Okay, there is two. It just looks so much like one because they're so enmeshed. And you see they have this cloth here, like their spirit. They're woven together, the same breath. He's loving her, but also like protecting her. She feels safe. It's also compassion you can only have as much compassion for another as you have for yourself see she's allowing herself to receive that from him so that two of cups two of wands with six of wands and I have magician on the top so, and these two, it was like they, I was going to say subtle, they came out subtly, but they came out, it's like when the timer goes off, it's like they came out exactly when they were supposed to. So this victory will happen exactly when it's supposed to. Just like everything else along the path, including love. Manifesting that love starts from within the heart. And Leo energy, because look at, okay, those wands. Got the sun card, which rules Leo. Leo is all about the heart. Fire sign. Got six and two of wands. Two of cups. Some Capricorns could have a twin flame who's a Leo, perhaps. Okay. Or that could be an important, important sign. Just the energy. It could be a specific person. Okay, it could be, be an aspect in your own chart. Some Lyran. Okay.
Okay, the Empress and Eight of Pentacles, yeah. There's some strong-hearted people, Capricorn, Empress, okay, Eight of Pentacles. This, is, this isn't so, some, like, princess in the tower. This is the Empress. She knows how to get gritty with it, okay? She, you know, she's like, well, oh, I gotta cut my hair so it doesn't get caught in the whatever because I gotta get in the mucky muck today. Cool, because I've been wanting to shave my head anyway. Because I'm the empress and I reinvent myself and I do what I want. And I do what feels good and what's right for me. Always in alignment with service to others. Because that's the empress. That's what she do. Okay. Um, she utilizes God's golden toolbox. She knows. She's the empress. She knows she has access to the throne room even. Okay. If you want to go sit on Archangel Gabriel's lap, she can do that. Mm -hmm. So, that was the bottom, was it? It doesn't really matter, but... Do those come out? <laughs> now I'm like, um... Oh, I'll give them. Okay. Sometimes I get so caught up in the, t the top and bottom card, it's like, did those come out or was it top and bottom? Uh, I think, yeah, those came out, right? <clears throat> yeah, that Three of Swords again. Temperance and Three of Swords. Yeah, I, I was getting that a lot for me coming out, just my own personal doing it like this, and the Three of Swords. So I was feeling, um, not the last couple days, but a couple days prior to that, for a few days, I was feeling that, and, uh, so when I was pulling some cards a couple days ago, that Three of Swords kept popping out. There's a lot of heartbreak that's, you know, um, and I have a spot, a rash, like right where my higher heart is, okay? So definitely some heart chakra healing that's happening, I feel. Yeah. That makes sense because this Nine of Pentacles it just confirms that for me. So I know that it's going on with other... And that Empress with the Eight of Pentacles, that's, you know, that Divine Feminine who's had to overcome, you know, abusive, oppressive behavior from others and learning how to love yourself. And draw that line in the sand. That was another, uh, more uh, with some gematria that was coming up. That, that was another thing. And I said that exact thing that day. Okay, and I was getting some number. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'll look it up again or whatever it was. So, and then it's just, it's not by accident. So, I just got, draw okay, so drawing a line in the sand this Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so he's... As he's moving very slowly with his horse, he has some kind of utensil in his hand that is drawing that line very deep, very straight. That line of demarcation. He's doing it slowly because he's not going to do it in the dark at nighttime. He's doing it very slowly out in the broad daylight for everyone to see. There's a line in the sand. Okay. Which means there's no going back. The point of no return. And this specifically a knight of a younger male earth sign. Okay. So for you, uh, Capricorn, it could be... Okay. Could possibly be a younger male earth sign. Um, could be... Taurus or Libra, because we have Empress, and that's Venus. Or Leo. Okay. And then didn't I saw um, the Temperance card when I believe those came out, so that's Sagittarius, so that could be the fire as well. Sag or Leo. And possibly a younger, possibly male Earth sign. Oh, 
Well, it depends on your age. And so if you're like the knave age, okay, then a knight would be older than you. If, if you're the queen or king age, then a knight would be younger than you. So or right about your own age. So baby's baby bear's bed was just right. Okay, so I feel like I'm going to sneeze here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. The moon. All right. Yeah, there's um, this subcon. See, sun, and then we have the moon. Now, that's what I was feeling with this Empress and Eight of Pentacles energy with the Knight of Pentacles. This moon is like you're coming, you're creeping out of any illusion about self, relationships, what what self love means, what self what self respect means. Um boundaries and anything that's going to keep you from being this empress and focusing on on your work which is serving others okay the empress that's what she does her whole her whole essence is outreach <laughs> okay be far reaching like god okay seeing through the eyes of god the, the empress that's what she's all about not letting anything block her on her path to victory which is the liberation of all souls, including her own. Okay, but we can't be free until we're free of the things of, that are buried deep in the subconscious with this moon card. And it can be a very slow process, Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> but the reward, the status, the level that is attained Okay, because it's of the spirit, sun card, empress. That deep love of God, that richness, okay, that the love of God brings, that seeing things through God's eyes brings. It's like, it's like a whole rebirth of the soul. Soul cleansing, okay, is what I just got from this moon card. Because it's like a bunch of little moons and stars and stuff, but it's like rain, okay, and then there's the big moon, so it's like macro to micro, the whole full cleansing, past lives, all that, okay, any kind of restraints, because this is the thing that liberates you, this sun card, okay, a heart-centered existence, that cross okay that's on the okay venus if you take that cross you put it inside the circle that's the cross of tehran it's the medicine wheel for the native americans it's the sun cross it's okay sun cross was also in the gematria so and that's saint bridget's cross that okay so this empress status for capricorn this is big time and this is like god's hand reaching down Okay, but you have to be looking up to see it. So you need to think more highly of yourself. Value yourself. So, okay, I just got that with the Eight of Pentacles and Empress. Value yourself. So we're learning how to do that. So this Knight of Pentacles and Moon card, we're learning how to value ourselves. We're being shown how God will show us how. Although I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, right? I shall fear no evil. That's what I got. Knight of Pentacles, a moon card. God's guiding hand. That's okay. And the protection of God's love. Empress, sun card. Okay, will guide you on your path. Your victory awaits you. Yeah, three of swords, nine of swords. Oh, heartbreak, Capricorn. I felt it. I felt it's so interesting. Someone will tell you you're beautiful, but the setting of it, and it's just like, oh, all the fountain of your heartbreak just, just takes over your whole being in that moment and floods you with. Gratitude. 
<laughs> it made me so very thankful for the small little things, you know, enjoying some tasty food with my with my son and someone just crushing your whole world with one little phrase, one little interaction. Um, uh, heart activation time when it's three of swords, okay? It's, it's stuff coming in through the crown because it's air, it's mental, but it's, it's filtering into the heart. Okay, temperance. So, wow, Capricorn, I think some Sag fire, okay? Yeah. Can't base it on somebody else. It's got to be based on the relationship you have with your creator, okay? The most high. Now, I'm saying Sagittarius because there's temperance again, but this is that balance of what I was saying. Balance centered in the heart, fire, water, okay? Where are you? In the middle, the between, the betwixt, the between, the green esteem of God, the rainbow, thrown, likened into an emerald. <laughs> temperance, okay? Capricorn, you're beautiful. You can be the okay the the devil card Capricorn so that's that's root, rooting out all the evil root out the okay evil Gebel devil Gabriel okay row root root out okay rose the divine feminine okay the underworld the undulating now you come out and blossom and bloom and sh and with that essence. You share the wisdom of the Divine Feminine. It's like a rose, okay? Temperance card, I just got, it's, it's just like a rose. It's that beautiful, because it creates this steam, this moisture, this essence, just, just like a flower releasing its, okay? If there was no moisture, that that essence would stay stuck in potentiality in that, in that flower, even if it blossomed, okay? So very important to be in tune with your emotions your fire what drives you okay Capricorn you're really being asked if you have any Leo or Sagittarius in your chart um, we have moon card we have Empress of so Empress like I said Venus that's rules Libra and Taurus but we have moon card as well so that could be Pisces Okay, the Pisces, that's the subconscious, okay? We're coming out of the darkness into the light, moon, sun, okay? But now, having gained all this wisdom, bringing, bringing, it, bringing it out into the light, okay? Sharing it with others. Because, Capricorn, you're strong. That's why you go spelunking down in there in the moon and the subconscious, okay? Because maybe, you know... The others around you, they don't have the, what, uh, the calling, the whatever, okay, the calling I just got for that two of wands. Capricorn, here's the call. Okay, and you're strong and, and you can withstand it and that's why you're called in the first place. <laughs> Nine of swords. Because you can handle it. Knight of Swords, right? You can move through it. That Knight of Swords can move through a forest of swords. I also just got, don't be afraid to blow off some steam, Capricorn. <laughs> the Temperance card, okay. Um, it's also, oh interesting because Yaldabaoth was coming in and this is Archangel Uriel. It could be Gabriel too but I, I see it more as Uriel Malkuth the bringing in the fire and the water and and, okay. and um so Ariel Uriel 
which is Aries, but it's also, this is Sagittarius, so it's, it's fiery, okay? But it's, it's very balanced, tempered, okay? Made strong, fortified, very Capricorn-y. See what else we got for you, Capricorn. There's something else that I was trying to say. Um, oh, and steaming vegetables is the best way. Fire roasting or boiling, and eh, and eh, you lose things, but just a nice steam vegetable. Oh, isn't it? Those are the best, right? Still so green, like broccoli, steamed broccoli. Still so green, but yet, oh, uh, like al dente, but tender. And, yeah, right? Perfect. Maintaining all its nutrients and integrity. Its radiance, its vibrance. And pure message. Because it's from the heart. So a, a rebirth through balance. Okay, so centered in the heart. Okay. Empress, sun card. That's where we can see things clearly. And then we have the vantage point that God has. Because God's all heart, baby. <laughs> What else do we have for Capricorn? Just got pineal from this and scale. this kind of looks like scales, okay? But then it kind of looks pineapple right here. But, so pineal, because this was calling me Capricorn because it looks kind of sea goat like. The design up here. Right here. So that six of wands wanted to be reiterated. Your victory awaits you. Okay. Your victory has already been written as part of your seed. So as it blossoms and unfolds. Okay. It's a faded event. It's destined. It's already woven into your story. Just like that Two of Cups, that love is woven into your story too. So even though some of you right now may feel like, how could I possibly be, here's that Knight of Swords, you'll get through it, okay? <clears throat> you gotta go through something right now. So that you can become aware of your true beauty. Okay, the Empress, no matter how old she gets, how weathered, how much, how many storms she's weathered, okay? She wears those stripes proudly and boldly. Okay? Those are the things that make her so strong. A woman of renown, someone who's honored the empress respects and honors herself that's why she's so loved four of wands judgment three of wands the tower knight of cups Three of Pentacles, the Emperor. You can't have the respect of others unless you have the respect for self first. And that comes from loving yourself. Knowing that you're pure and innocent like a child, okay? 
Okay, because that's four of wands and then judgment right after, and then three of wands with the tower. <clears throat> so any self-judgment has to go. And something, some good love's coming in for you because this three of wands, that's, think positive because something's on the horizon. This tower card has come in to knock something out of the way to bring you in possibly a water sign. Maybe Pisces because there's a moon card. But um, it's a man on a horse holding a cup of love. <laughs> and then three of pentacles right after and then the emperor. So someone who is willing to be very cooperative in love progressing, growing in love and that emperor status. Okay. And you got the empress right there. So uh, uh, some twin flame and Capricorn, that makes sense. You know, twin flame shit. Oh, so that knight of swords. Okay. There's a six of swords. There's the wheel. Piercing the veil, taking that leap out of karma. I don't know where that just came from. Oh, what's this card over here? The world. <laughs> We'll take it, because I was separate over there. I Yeah, okay. So this completion is going to be brought about through your due diligence to commitment to self and what God has laid out before you, your story. Focus on your story. Some of you think maybe it's too much work. That's why you don't want to focus on your story. Too, it's too painful. It's too much work. No, but you're Capricorn. It's no accident that you're Capricorn, okay? Ancient. Have, have experienced everything. That's why this Eight of Pentacles, that's why you know you can do it. This is with the Empress. Because you've been here and you've done it before world okay these cycles you've done this okay you have it in you to do it there's no I can't do it because you've already done it okay in the past and it's written for you to do it this time so if you've already done it done it in the past okay past lifetimes however you want to okay the past of this lifetime already done it tell yourself that I've all I have already achieved my victory because I see it so clearly so tune into that completion okay that victory the world card six of wands Tune into that along the journey, especially, <clears throat> excuse me, when it feels like it's dragging on and on or you get stuck in a loop because <clears throat> God just maybe needs to keep you on pause for a minute while some things are being worked behind the scenes over here. However, okay, but it's it's all written the way it, it's supposed to be exact. It's happening exactly according to plan, okay? As God has written it, your beautiful story. So be patient with it. Let it un unfold, okay? Because temperance, you know, having peaceful patience with yourself. Be kind, nurturing, loving to yourself. And then kick your own ass when you need to do that, too. <laughs> So the world card and the wheel was at the top. So world and wheel, that, that's like, as I just said, like getting the, this leap out of karma. Um, so this new world, like a brand new baby born with, you know, a clean slate. Okay, here it went over here. What do we got? Four of swords. Yes, 
The completion for you, Capricorn, is a rested mind. Peace. Okay. World card. And then a Four of Swords. So, that's when you're going to feel brand new, whole, and complete, is when this peace of mind comes in. That's It's going to bring... I literally got good sleep from this moon card right here. Like... Selen, serene, selenite, selene, serene, selenite, okay, um, it's peace of mind, arrested mind, and that's what this, this new, the new world, okay, not new world order, the new world, <laughs> going to be to bring peace everyone's mind will be able to be at rest and we can focus on the things of the heart and not of the mind because the mind will be quieted right this five of swords there won't be any more betrayal loss there won't be any more monsters to face or fear it will only be love. Fear will be non-existent. Ten of Wands. It will be non-existent. It will be completely burned up. No residue, no nothing. Okay? Ash. For the soil pile. To grow our beautiful mangoes and walnut orchards. And Okay? <laughs> I think a lot of a lot of Capricorns. That's what you're just looking for. To you've you've done. You've had the whole world, right? The moon, the sun, and right everything in between, and you just, right? Maybe you've had it all. You different kinds of careers, empress with the eight of coins. So you maybe you've traveled because it's just, you know, the path of where that's all taken you, and it's been a it's been. Interesting, yeah? <laughs> but now, at this stage for you, Capricorn, what you most want, what you want most, and, and what's going to bring you the most balance and this feeling of wholeness and completion is peace. Okay. Uh -huh. Chariot. That's Cancer. That's the Great Mother. Okay, and that's right butted up right next to Leo. That's Sun card. That's a very sunny. Okay. That's Mother. Okay, but it's not Capricorn during the winter time. This is the exact complement Cancer. Okay. So that's. But it's like the same energy, but up in the light now. Okay, moon, sun, that temperance. Chariots of fire, baby. Your heart. Right? I was just saying charred the ashes, okay, with that ten of wands. Okay, that's on the top there. And heart, okay, I'm just saying, I'm getting, a, okay, Leo always is coming through, because it's just, everything's about the heart, okay, so, that's, that's how we're judged, that's how God sees things, it's the, the eyes of the heart, everything is heart, 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 that's the first point of them, and we're born of the heart, okay, Ahava, uh, love, okay, God born of the heart, the most high, that's sun card. That is God. That is the God card right there. That's fa Father God, okay, the sun, and then we have moon, Mother God. Okay, and I'm not talking like the moon simulator and blah, blah, blah. I'm talking about the energy, okay, the masculine and feminine. <sighs> and I just got Uline masculine. 
And then you line up with your masculine. <laughs> the chariot, okay? The chariot, masculine, feminine, together, balance centered in the heart. Okay? Same with that temperance card. A lot of heart heart chakra healing, I feel, for Capricorn for, for November. Okay? And, and it's like the sense of rebirth through balance and completion brought forth by peace of mind. Because that's what you're focusing on and that's what you're valuing most and, and and it's just the time. Okay, this is the phase, the stage we're at now, Capricorn. Four swords. Arrested mind. Okay. I mean, look how just people... That's when you when you sleep like that, you are just, oh. Right? Because you don't have any, like, side pain where you have to sleep weird, which you're, and you got inflammation, so you're, like, so you're going to sleep with pillows on your legs and with your feet up. and blah, blah. This, That's when you just, like, oh. You, you can sleep so, you don't, you, you don't even have to remember to take your shoes off. You just, oh, I could sleep so, anyway. It's even, like, kind of chilly and a hard, like, couch with and uh you just you, can, you feel so good you can just rest anywhere because you're comfortable everywhere because you're at home in the world capricorn world card saturn okay saturn governs capricorn so you're at home everywhere because you've been everywhere you're ancient you've been here since the beginning you've lived so many lifetimes you've lived everywhere on the earth that's why that's why you can be comfortable everywhere. Make your home anywhere, okay? Not chariot cuz home is where the heart is, right? This is like fired up though cuz it's chariot and Leo energy, Sag energy. Oh, Capricorns of, you know, I think some of you possibly have either Leo or Sag in your chart or someone coming in possibly slowly okay but on the move on the horizon horizon coming in nonetheless okay but it's all being coordinated so as you're going through a process okay this is moving in for you. You're rising up okay it's like the earth rising up to meet the sky the sky comes down okay the masculine Okay, lamp. Sorry for bumping you. <laughs> Feminine coming down from heaven. Okay, descending down to meet him as he rises up. Okay, so this is like that vortex, that swirl, that dance, that temperance. Okay, the fire and the water, the masculine, the feminine. We got the moon and the sun. We got the two of wands. Okay, so ah, big twin flame vibe. Okay, world, empress, big love energies anchoring mother, father, God down here on into the earth, through the body, okay, and all the tools that you were sent here with to do your mission, you got them, okay, Capricorn don't even got them in a toolbox, you got them strapped around right, the, the tool belt, right, Capricorn's got the tool belt, Cause we on the move with it. We going all around the world. All around the world, same song. Cause Capricorn's as old as dung. <laughs> and we're done. All right. Have a beautiful November, Capricorn. Love, peace, and blessings.